guys, welcome back to Adele DIY. So today, I'm going to be doing a point shoe related video and in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to sew your point shoes, the accessories that you need for point shoes, how to make them last longer, and if you stay until the very end, you'll get to see how I turn my bedroom into a semi-functioning dance studio. Now without further ado, let's get into it. When you buy your point shoes, you also have to get ribbon, elastic, and a sewing kit. And with the elastic, cut it into two pieces. And then with the ribbon, cut it into four pieces by folding it in half twice. Also, make sure to tie the drawstrings because if you lose it, then you have to get a whole new pair of shoes. These are the Block Heritage Triple X size five. The first thing you wanna do is figure out which shoe is left and which shoe is right, and then label it on the bottom of the shoe. And I also like to write my name just in case they get lost. The first thing to do to start sewing is find the side seam and then place the ribbon right behind it and outline it so you know where to sew. Repeat this on both sides. You do a similar thing with the back except make sure to place the elastic at an angle and make sure that the elastic isn't twisted. Some people like to crisscross it but for me I only feel like I need one loop. Before you start sewing just make sure that everything fits by putting on the shoe and putting the elastic and the ribbon where you want it. Start by threading your needle and then sew around your ribbon in a box. Make sure to pull the thread all the way through and make it super tight so that the ribbon doesn't come off and avoid the seam and the drawstring. Do the same thing with the back elastic. This is what it should look like when you're done. Now that I've finished sewing these, I'm just going to burn the edges so that the edges don't fret. Now that we have burned the edges, I'm just going to be letting you guys know which accessories you need to help your point shoes last as long as they can and reduce the pain. The first thing that you need is a point shoe bag with holes in it so your shoes can breathe and the glue won't break down. The second thing that you need are these jelly toe pads. You can also get ouch patches with their, which are fabric and thinner. And then for these, there are three different thicknesses. There's clear, which is the lightest, pink, which is the middle, and then blue is the thickest. The next thing are these second skin cooling gel pads. These are really good for if you have a blister, you just put them on and put tape over it and it'll provide a little cushion for your foot, which feels amazing. The next thing is brown squishy tape. This is great for when you have blisters to put on top of your second skins and you can also use paper tape. I just don't have that right now, but this is definitely a good thicker alternative. The last thing is jet glue and this is really good for prolonging the life of your shoes. You can just put some on the shank if that's what's breaking down or the box and these will help your shoes last longer. So now let's break in these shoes. I've seen people like bang them on things, but personally that scares me, so I'm just gonna bend them. <laughs> now, I'm going to be showing you how I transform my room into a danceable space. I would have my Zoom up on my computer right here, and then I'd basically just have this space to dance, and I'd roll up the carpet. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure to give it a like and subscribe down below. Also, ring the bell so you're notified every time I post a new video. See you guys next week. Bye!